Cocktail. Tried out a new gym today. Liked it. Powerhouse gym in Syracuse. Loved it. So sweaty though, so I had to put Jason's shirt on after because it was like uncomfortably sweaty. I didn't want her sweating in my car, making it nasty. I'm gonna get some coffee. the game of dots more than he loves you. Does anyone else play this madness? This is amazing. I'm gonna put you on blast right now, Heezy. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom and shower. Three hours later. Well, I got caught up playing dots. I play dots while I poop. He like actually enjoys being in the bathroom playing dots. I'll poop and play dots. More than he enjoys his wife. I was asked to review these items because I posted these on my Instagram. The skinny syrup and candy corn I only used in decaf coffee, but I thought it was delicious. And then the whipped foam, I was impressed because I didn't think it would taste like anything, but I really liked it. And maybe just placebo effect, but I liked having like a frothy foam on top of my coffee. So found these at Marshall's. I've got the uh, caramel one too. Danica had recommended that to me. That was a prep lifesaver. She says salted caramel is her favorite. So highly recommend those uh, skinny syrup goodies, especially for those on prep, or those like myself who don't mind artificial sweeteners. Got you. Got you. I'm filming you filming me. I'm filming you filming me. How you me, feel about that me. right now? You feel about that, Heezy? I'm filming you filming me. <laughs> I'm not gonna show me. you what I made, but all I'm gonna say is, it involves MTS Way, American Pie. You guys gotta subscribe for the new videos. You do, and let me know below. I've had some requests to do more recipes on my channel. I mostly am only posting like protein recipes lately because it's like literally all I've had time for is doing the protein recipes. I've been making a lot of real quick meals. But if you guys want like more like normal, healthy eating, non-protein recipes, those aren't typically videos that get a ton of views, but I don't do my videos just for views. So if you guys think that's something helpful and beneficial for you, I love fall cooking, baking, crock potting, all that kind of stuff. Crock potting, it's a word, right? It kind of sounds like a stoner word. Crock, we should do a whole crack Thanksgiving, piping, uh, crock a whole healthy, healthy um, Thanksgiving. Yeah, if you want like healthy Thanksgiving ideas, Halloween, Columbus Day, you name it, let me know and I can either do some single, and let me know, do you want like single recipe videos so they're easy to find, I can put them in a separate playlist, or do you want them within a vlog so you still get like more entertainment from this beauty? Let me know, let Heezy know. Let like he's us now. Let me know. So peaceful out. Peaceful Sunday. What's up guys? Thought I'd do a little backyard uh, Q&A. Not really Q&A, but just a couple things I wanted to talk about. It's super peaceful out right now, so I thought I'd come sit out here with you guys so you could also embrace this beautiful environment. A couple of things I wanted to talk about totally all random and not even related but the first thing is I've noticed on a couple of my videos where I've talked about some of my um, anxiety not anxiety um, some of my pressures I guess with social media and YouTube lack of growth things like that a lot of people have mentioned like why don't you collab Kara you know a lot of youtubers collab that helps get subscribers that helps bump up your channel and it's hard for me to respond to that comment because it's said so lightly, like it's an easy thing to collab. So I'm not sure if people realize it's not just like an easy thing to collab. Number one, it's not that I don't want to collab. I'd love to collab with other people. A um, couple barriers there though. First thing being location. I don't live in an area where there's other YouTubers. Pretty isolated up here in Syracuse, New York. There's not really many other people up here who have a following. Probably closest person to me would be Chelsea Lifts, and I think she's out in Pennsylvania, and we did talk about collabing this summer, but 
summers are busy and people have busy summers and you know we talked about it it's just kind of hard to coordinate she's probably the most close to me and even still that's asking someone to take their time and money to come collab most youtubers i think popular accounts fitness ones um, that would be most relevant are down south west coast you have to think about it for someone to take the time and the money to collab it's got to be worth it for both parties what do you have to offer the other person it's not like i can just call up nikki blackheader and be like yo girl help out my channel let's collab you know and let me fly to the west coast and hang out with you shit i'd love that don't get me wrong i would be down i'd pay for it but it's just not that simple you guys um a lot of people that collab have some type of contacts, whether they uh, have similar sponsorships. So you see Nikki, um, Jasmine Garcia, and Robin Gallant all do a lot of collabing because they're all on Gymshark. You know, you see a lot of people who have similar sponsors um, collabing. You see, you know, Amanda Bucci and Marie collab. You see, you know, you see a lot of people collab who have some similar sponsorships and, you know, who have friendships that were there beforehand. And I just, it's funny because part of like, in a way, like, made me a little bit self-conscious was like, I almost felt like I'm in high school again and I don't belong in any of those, like, in crowds you know I don't I don't fit in I guess and in a way it's okay like I'm my own person I'm me I'm also a little bit older than those girls I'm in a different period of my life like I just wanted to respond to that question because I am like so down to collab with anyone that would make sense to collab for my channel and for theirs and to better either of our channels but it's just not a simple thing so I just wanted to address that because people have wrote that a few times and it's hard for me to respond to it without coming across like shitty or something in my response because I'm so interested in collabing so anyways that was what I wanted to mention on that note um, the other thing I wanted to mention too something I was thinking about for my own self and advice I wanted to give to others is that for those of you trying to lose weight or reach your goals you know I can't say it enough that being patient and being consistent is probably the best thing you can do for me not being as lean anymore in a way I thought it would be easier for me to tighten up or lose a few pounds it's actually harder it's actually the opposite uh, when I was super lean I could have a couple days of like low carb or like carb cycling a bit and like see drops real quick I don't see that anymore it doesn't happen even if I know I'm doing what I need to do or even if I am like being more conscious of my eating choices or my workouts and things like that so just reminder to those of you out there who are struggling or feel like you're struggling like keep being consistent is the best thing I can say because it will pay off it's gonna take longer than three days though you guys like you're gonna you're gonna need to keep at it and it will come so just because you haven't seen changes in three days four days even a week doesn't mean you need to change what you're doing and I'm not saying don't reassess what you're doing and how you're doing it and, and evaluate it but you shouldn't have to change what you're doing every three to four days sometimes it just takes good old-fashioned patience and consistency it will come it will come with time and with that being said don't forget to not only measure your progress other ways than the scale because that's not always going to show up. I've seen that with so many of my clients that I coach that their weight can fluctuate and they could only lose three pounds but when you look at the difference between where they looked week one versus week seven oh my god they look so much better they look healthier I asked how they feel they feel better and that's number one you guys so just a reminder for myself a reminder for you and I think that's it I'm not sure if this lighting kind of sucks or not but that's it that was my little question and answer rant I wanted to go on so it is almost seven I'm tired I like sat out in the sun after our workout and that made me very very sleepy have been a bit more motivated to work out like I don't know if it's just since I got home from Seattle or if it's because the Olympia is coming and I want to like feel better about myself although I feel okay like I don't get me wrong like I, I don't hate where I'm at you know like it's not a bad body I'm, I'm proud of my body it's you know not a lean body and that's okay but I think just knowing I'm going to Olympia I have a lot of stuff coming up I'm very motivated so I'm feeling like I'm starting to get that little edge back with my workouts feeling a bit more focused and not just doing them to do them because I have no problems going and doing it because I should do it 
it bothers me if I don't enjoy what I'm doing. So I feel like I'm getting, finally getting back to that place where I'm like, not just going and doing it, but I'm enjoying it, if that makes any sense. That feels really good. I think we're gonna go for a walk right now at Green Lakes, maybe. Just to move around, my lower back's been bothering me. Probably because I always do leg day on Saturday and then Sunday I do deadlifts and back. And I always kill myself doing it and it hurts. And I'm still a little stiff from traveling, so I think that's the plan for tonight. I don't know if I'll vlog anything else since I just talked for eight minutes. We might keep this one show it. Keep it showity. Let me know what you like. Do you like my short videos? Do you like my long vlogs? Comment below. If this is it for the video, I will say goodbye. Love you guys. See you in the next one. It's green lakes. Doesn't green. look so green in the dark, huh? It does it's not look so in person, but... It's just because it's dark out. Why are you looking all sweet and cute? I don't know. <laughs> Why do you look all uncomfortable? I'm bashful. Why do you look uncomfortable? Because I'm shy. I want to see Kara's classic pose. She's only doing it because she's holding something. This is Kara's classic. If I'm going to take a picture pose before she became Bikini Pro. And all sassy. Ready? This. Hands here. Every picture. Every picture. So every picture looked like this. Because I didn't know what to do with my hands. That's how every so picture looked. I held my hands like that. What do you do with them? If you look at like newscasters and stuff, they always are kind of like holding their hands. They are holding their hands. That's why when I do videos, I'm very like... All over the place. I don't know what to do with my hands. Someone tell me what to do with my hands. Put them down my pants. <laughs> Put them on your nanner. See, that's a good pose. It's outdoorsy. Show the camera love. Let's go continue this walk through the spooky dungeon of spooky. woods. Comment below if you see this picture anywhere, people. I asked people to comment on like 14 things in this video. How about everyone just comment? If you comment on everything I asked for, you'll get an autographed nude of Heezy. <laughs> yes. To add on to the collaboration thing, the channel will grow too if you guys share shit. I know it's a lot to ask because everyone doesn't want to share stuff. And, but it does definitely help things grow when people share, for sure. It's Kara taking a picture. Taking a selfie. Taking a selfie while I uh, video. Let's just make her feel uncomfortable. Stop it. Let's make her feel uncomfortable. How does it look, YouTube? I'm not very photogenic at all. I don't know how some girls do it. I just don't have the face. This did not end up being a short walk. <laughs>